In this video tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to use the sample templates for the Easy Album Template Collection. Because once you get a handle on how to use the sample templates, we think you'll be really excited about the entire Easy Album Template Collection. So what I've already done is I've downloaded the sample templates to my desktop. Now I'm going to be using a Windows platform, but for those of you who are using Mac, it's basically the same process. So what we're going to do, first of all, is extract the contents of our zip file. So I'm going to double click on the zip file. Uh, here on Windows and drag this folder to my desktop and that will essentially unzip the contents of that zip file. Now from there when I open up this folder you'll see that there's a series of JPEG files and then these JSX files. Now these are special JavaScript files and these are the template files themselves. So what we're going to do here is come into Photoshop. Now all the templates uh, in the Easy Album Template Collection were originally created for a 10 by 20 book. But because of the way we've programmed these templates to function, it will work with any size album layout you're looking to do. And of course these templates aren't specifically for albums. You could use them for graduation announcements, you could just use them as a nice wall print. Whatever you want to purpose these templates for, you certainly have that capability. So let's go ahead and go into Photoshop and create a new document. And let's do something that's different than a 10 by 20 so you can see how they automatically resize themselves. So let's say I want to do an 11 by 14 album. What I'm going to do here is 22 inches wide, 14 inches tall, which would give me an 11 by 14 portrait album. Double page spread here. So I'm going to go into Adobe Bridge, go to my desktop, go to my Easy Album Template Collection, and we've provided an entire album for you to experiment with. So we have all these preview files, which are JPEG files. So I'm just going to select one and double click on the corresponding JSX file here in Adobe Bridge. Just double click. And that template will be created for us in an option, do I want to insert photos into template? Now for this example, we're going to choose yes. One of the image openings is turned red and we get a secondary confirmation box. Now this is where most people will make their mistake. It says, do we want to use Bridge to select an image? One of the image openings has been turned red. This is the image opening that's to be populated. We cannot choose one of these options until we actually go into Bridge, select the image we intend to use, then choose yes. And it will go ahead and take the image and drop it right into place for us. That easily. It then pauses, allows us to position the image within the window. We hit enter and it will move on to the next image opening if there is one, which in this case there is, we get another dialog box. Again, we cannot answer this until we go into Bridge, select the image, and then choose Yes. It will then of course go ahead and open the image and drop it right into place for us, just like so, and hit Return. And there we have a great looking layout, super, super easy. Now because we're working here inside Photoshop, Sky's the limit. We don't have to stop here. So let's show you a couple other things. Let's go to our background layer. Let's go into Adobe Bridge. I have some background textures. I'm just going to drag one from my bridge window directly into my layout. In doing so, it inserts the image as a smart object, which will allow me to scale without any loss of image quality. I will do that. Once I've done that, I'm going to change the color of that texture by coming into my layers palette choosing hue and saturation, choosing colorize, and just boost the saturation. You can see I have a nice red. Now I could change the hue, make it purple, whatever color you want, but I'm just going to leave it a nice red because I want to just show you how easy the options are. Now the next thing that you might want to do is when you're working with templates, oftentimes the image doesn't quite fit the image opening. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a small change to the image opening on the image on the left. So I'm going to select that image, come into my layers palette, and uncheck this link between the layer mask and the image. Click on my layer mask, free transform, control T, just scale it a little bit, just like so, and then relink the two together. And then I can move my image about. I could even rotate the image, get really crazy. See? Now I can also apply a layer style to this image, which I think I'll go ahead and do. So let's go do stroke, let's do white, list. Uh, do say 20 pixels to the inside, maybe a drop shadow effect. We'll make it nice and big. And we'll change the size, something like that. And we'll go ahead and click OK. 
And there we have it. We have a modified version of our original template. And we have a nice background texture and so on and so forth. And we could just keep going and going and going. So that's an option. Now let's go ahead and close this out and take a look at another option. Oftentimes we want to create a layout uh, using a template as a starting point, but we're going to make some pretty serious changes. So let's go ahead and do this quick. Go back into our templates. Use that same template. Double click on the JavaScript file. Do I want to insert photos into template? This time we're going to choose no. And the reason being is if we want to populate the template, the only way to automatically populate the template is to leave the template as is. Now I want to modify this template because I like the basic core structure, but I want to make a few changes. And here's the change I want to make. I'm going to free transform the image on the left. I'm then going to duplicate this image using Photoshop. Like so. I'm then going to take these three images and just resize them a bit so they fit in the allowed space and maybe resize the height. Just a small change like that. Now I want to populate the template. Now what do I do? Well, you're stuck. You're stuck doing it the old fashioned way in Photoshop unless you have our Pixel Creator Pro design software, our Easy Album design software, or the optional Easy Album toolbox. Now if you don't already have Easy Album and you don't have Pixel Creator Pro, consider the Easy Album toolbox because without it we can't make major changes to a layout and automatically populate the layout with our images. But if we have the Easy Album Toolbox, we can make whatever changes we want and still have the ability to automatically place our images. So how do we do that? Well, we have all the changes made to the layout we're looking for. Now we just need to populate it. So what we're going to do is come into the Easy Album Toolbox. It's an extension here inside Photoshop. And just choose this option, Easy Place. Doesn't get any easier than that. And you're already used to how it works dialog box it says use bridge to select an image just like working with the templates but this case of course we're gonna go into bridge we're gonna select not one image not two images but three images so we're gonna select three images so I just selected the first one hold my control key down here on a PC and click on the other two and now we have three images selected now if you're on a Mac you just hold down your command key okay so we have three images selected so this time when I choose yes it's just going to go boom, boom, boom. It's going to take my first image, drop it into the first box here. I simply hit return. There's our next image. Reposition a little bit here. Go ahead and hit return. And then, of course, our third image. Now, this particular layout has four images so what happens if I only select three what happens to the fourth one well we get the dialog box again do we want to use bridge to select an image and of course we do but I wanted to throw one more little trick at you because if you haven't seen this before it's so powerful so incredibly easy uh, I don't know why people don't take advantage of the power that's built into Adobe Bridge in Photoshop now my friends over at photoeffects.biz, if you've never visited the website, check it out, photoeffects.biz. They create presets that you can use with Lightroom and also use here in Adobe Bridge. And what these presets allow us to do is it allows us to modify our images right here inside Bridge very quickly and easily. You've probably seen actions that convert images to black and white and different effects, but we also have that ability right here in Bridge. And it's so much easier than using a Photoshop action. So here's how it works. We have an image. This is the image that I want to use because we're working with a layout that already has three black and white images. So all I'm going to do is right click on the image, choose develop settings, and I'm going to choose black and white base. That's it. Now my image has been converted to black and white. We have a little preview of it here. So now when I select yes, guess what? The image gets populated in its black and white form. How cool is that? And of course, all those other changes like putting in a background texture, just come to my background layer, go back into my pattern textures here. Let's do a nice pretty yellow for my background texture. We'll resize it up a little bit. 
Isn't that a great layout? Very, very simple, easy. And let's do one more thing, just for the fun of it, okay? Now, this is going to take a little bit of Photoshop skills, but let's go ahead and do it because it just adds a little extra punch. We're going to create a new layer. Nothing complicated there. We're going to make a selection. There's our selection. We're going to fill it with something. Doesn't matter what. Let's just fill it with our foreground color. Then let's lower the fill opacity to zero. Remember the fill opacity to zero. Then let's go ahead and add a stroke to it. We're going to do a stroke to the outside of about 15 pixels. Click OK. And voila, look at what we have. We have a nice little thin line up top and bottom of our images. And because of the layer structure, it's below the image here on the right. We threw in a background texture. And you can see how we started with a template made a couple of minor modifications, threw in the Easy Album Toolbox to place our images. Great end result. Now watch this video through a couple of times. Download the sample templates. Try it out for yourself. Now keep in mind the Easy Album Toolbox is a separate component to the templates. Now the templates do come with that Easy Place feature, which will allow you to populate the template as it was designed automatically. Where if you want to make changes like we showed you in the second part of this video and you want to be able to automatically place your images after you've modified those changes, then you need the Easy Album Toolbox or if you already own Easy Album or Pixel Creator Pro, there's tools in there that allow you to place your images automatically. Any questions, we're just an email phone call away. Thanks for watching.